Think about it for a second. About 60% of your site could be made up of images and they are often the biggest files in your media library. This might sound like a small detail, but it can actually cause a lot of problems. For one, images take up a lot of bandwidth and when you have too many large files, it can slow down your entire website. Not only does this affect the user experience, but it can also harm your SEO ranking. Search engines like Google take loading speed into account when ranking sites. So the slower your website is, the worse your ranking can be. And the issues don't stop there. Large images also eat up server storage space. This means you might run into storage limits or slower upload speeds when you add new content. But here's the good news. Optimizing your images can fix all of these problems and you definitely want them to look great on both desktop and mobile. The goal here is to have your images compressed in WebP format and still looking sharp without the hassle of manually resizing or cropping anything. You also want to keep your media library clean from unused images and also optimize them for better SEO rankings. But here's the catch. If you think free bulk image compression tools are the solution, think again. Sure, they can reduce image size and convert them to WebP, but they still require a lot of manual work. Another thing to keep in mind is that relying on popular image optimization or speed plugins might seem like a quick fix, but they don't always deliver on their promises. Even if you pay for them, they only do the job 50-60% of the time because they struggle to detect all the images on your site. The issue is that these plugins typically look for image tags, but miss image URLs hidden in HTML elements like those in Elementor sliders, preloaders or plugins like Slider Revolution. And lazy loading these images gets skipped because it requires server-side analysis, something these plugins often don't handle. Okay, I'm not here to criticize anyone, just sharing the issues I ran into when I started working on getting these few things to work for my site. Now, let's get into the solution that actually worked for me. So first things first, let's delete any unnecessary or unused images on your media library. Let's install the media cleaner. You'll now see a new option called cleaner under the media menu. Click on it, start a scan, and the plugin will begin analyzing your media library for unused files. Once the scan is done, you'll see a list of unused files. The plugin lets you delete them all at once by selecting delete all, or you can manually choose which files to remove. It's up to you how much you want to clean up. All right, now that we have a clean slate, let's look at the major fixes that I run. To show you the process, I'll upload an image from my media library. This image is over a couple of MB and has a really high resolution. When I check the mobile and tablet views, it looks pretty bad. So let me just publish it for now. Next, I'll open an incognito window, type in my site URL, and here's the updated version of my site. Let's run it through Google PageSpeed and analyze the results. As you can see, it's pretty slow right now. Keep this score in mind because everything we do today will help improve it. And it'll all make sense in just a few minutes. First, open a new tab and look for elif.net. Here's the website, and we'll download the plugin from here. It'll be soon be available in the WordPress repository as well. But in case it's not there yet, just click sign up, add your website link, and download the plugin directly. Don't worry, it's completely safe because it's developed by the same team behind the successful Malcare and Blogwell plugins. Once you've downloaded, go ahead and upload the plugin to your WordPress site. After it's installed and activated, it will start analyzing your site. Keep in mind that image optimization is just one part of what this plugin does. What I mean is that it's not just an image optimization tool, it's the complete speed solution for your website. Okay, here's our site's initial score and the rest of the optimization is still running in the background. So let's fast forward a few minutes. Once it's done, you'll see that our overall site score has improved. Remember we checked this score earlier in incognito window? So if I refresh it now, the score has definitely gone up quite a lot. Now, let's check if it's optimized all of our images. Scrolling down, I can see the site size has reduced and here it shows that image resizing has been done. They've been converted to WebP, lazy loading is enabled, and all 12 images on my homepage are optimized. The total image size is much smaller now. To get more details on this, go to the optimization settings, click on images, and here you can customize things like excluding certain images from lazy loading, among other options. Next, let's open a fresh incognito window and check my site. Here's the image we uploaded earlier. If I right click, inspect the element, and check the image, we can see it's much smaller than before. When I switch to mobile view, the image still looks great and the size is different because it's optimized for mobile, improving the performance score too. 
If I go to the responsiveness tab, I can see that the image is responsive across various devices. I've used other image optimization plugins like W3 Total Cache, Imageify, and A3 Lazy Load, but I found Airlift to be better because it covers a lot more use cases. Remember that image tag issue I mentioned earlier? Airlift handles resizing at many more levels than any other plugin I've seen, which is super helpful when using one solution across different projects. Now, whenever I add new images, Airlift automatically optimizes them after a few hours. Or if I want it done instantly, I can go to quick actions and hit optimize. Of course, every site is different and sometimes a theme, a plugin might interfere with Airlift. If anything goes wrong, I can just disable it and raise a support ticket, which they reply to within a few hours. Once the issue is fixed, I can easily re-enable Airlift. Finally, here are a few bonus tips for image SEO and performance. When you are uploading images to WordPress, don't forget to optimize them for search engines like Google. Just make sure to rename your image files to include relevant keywords and add alt text that briefly describes the image. This helps your images get noticed by search engines much faster and improve accessibility for everyone. Also, if you use Elementor as much as I do, then make sure to go to the settings window and enable these optimized image loading and lazy load background image options. By doing this, you're not just optimizing your images for speed, but also for better SEO. It's a small change that can make a big difference for your site. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out.